So the basics of yoga is to feel. We just want to kind of feel the ground under our feet, stand and lean side to side. And so we'll start just by bringing our feet to about hip width apart. Feel the feet, lean forward and back from the heels to the toes and back again. And then side to side from one foot to the other, just noticing the weight of the floor. Then find the center so you're on both feet equally. Bend your knees and then soften your stance so you're not locking your knees out. Draw your tailbone down, your backside towards the floor, and relax your arms. Roll your shoulders up, back and down, and take a breath. And when we inhale, we lift up, we exhale, we relax. So you can do that with your knees and your body. Inhale, get really tall, press into your feet. Exhale, soften your knees and soften your body. Letting your breath kind of guide you. Inhale, your arms can lift up. And exhale, your hands can come down. Soften your knees. Let your movement and your breath kind of unite. Look up and look down. One more time. And just feel the feet again. Notice your tailbone tilting downward. Your knees soft, you feel the floor. And just take a moment and close your eyes. Try to stay stable. Take a breath in through the nose and out through the nose. And then open your arms up. Stretch up, look at your thumbs and reach your hands as far back as your body will let you. And that positions your back. Bring your hands to your heart, keep your hands into your heart and fold at your hips. This helps keep your back straight. Relax your hands down, drop your head down. And dangle, bend your knees, bend your knees and bring your belly to your thighs. And then straighten your legs a little bit and let your head drop more. Then climb into a plank pose. So first hands and knees, just dropping down to your knees and your hands. Step your hands a little bit forward of your shoulders. Tuck your toes under and lift up to plank pose. So the top of a push up. Then drop your knees down again. So you're in an inclined plank, a kind of like a modified version. You can bring your feet like this, but if your toes start to cramp, tuck them under. Squeeze your belly in, drop your shoulders. And when you come down, we want to just bend the elbows and bring the belly down to the floor. I'm just gonna scoot back. So your forehead down to the floor, tuck your chin in and take your hands lower so they're right about under your shoulders. Your elbows in and then look forward at the mirror. Just take a breath and Feel your hands pressing down. So your cobra is about halfway up. Your, bent, your elbows are still bent and you're in your thighs. Your upward dog, you wanna tuck your toes and bring your hips forward. So you could straighten your arms right down from your shoulders, push into your feet and maybe try to lift your thighs up. So the tops of the feet on the floor and we press and then bring your knees down and sink your butt back into child's pose. So you sit towards your heels, forehead to the ground, go as close as you can to yourself and relax your weight into your forehead and then just breathe, relax. Child's pose is a resting place. So we let go, mush into the ground for a moment. Take a big breath, exhale and sink. And then come back up to hands and knees. So your hands and knees, Right in the middle is called tabletop. We look at the floor and our back is flat, like a table. Then cat cow, we arch the body. So we look up, chin up, shoulders back, and chest kind of goes between the arms like this. And then exhale, we round the back and push into the hands, let your back round up to the ceiling, chin to chest. When we move through, we move with our breath again. Inhale, exhale. You can breathe through your nose only, through your nose or mouth, whatever is working. Just breathe in on one direction, breathe out on the other. And look up and look to your body and then hands and knees, tuck the toes. We're gonna lift to downward dog. So again, step your hands forward a bit, then tuck the toes under, lift the knees and take a moment here. So I'm wearing socks, so it's a little extra slippery. Always barefoot is better. 
But if we are wearing socks, if they have grippies is good. We want to just sink the chest towards the feet, feel the open stretch in your shoulders, and then walk the feet to the hands. Maybe bend the knees and go about halfway. Bend your knees and roll up as you inhale. Lift your chin up. Look up to your hands, hands together. Look at your thumbs. Reach up and back as far as your body will let you. And then again, your hands to your heart and release them down. Soften your knees. Feel the floor under you. That awareness helps with balance. Take a breath. Come back to our breath opens us. Our breath softens us. Every moment we're taking a breath out, it's literally expelling all the ick from our bloodstream and our lungs and everything that's like needs to come out of us. So we inhale the good, literally. We're inhaling it and we're fresh air, goes into our bloodstream, circulates our body, exhaling the bad. We pumped it all out of our blood back into our lungs and we blow it away. So inhale, feel that lift you. Exhale, feel it release you, release you of all the toxins. Inhale, open the arms up, look up. Exhale, fold forward through the hip crease. Stick your butt back, your hamstrings get a stretch. Bend your knees, inhale, halfway lift. Grab your shins or your knees and just straighten out your head. Look at the floor so your back is like a table again. And then from your hips, squeeze your belly in, your lower belly pulls in. Bend your knees, squeeze your thighs and fold forward. Almost feel those little actions happening. And then notice the stretch or the strength, the squeeze. Bend your knees and come back to downward dog. So climb it back, butt is high like a triangle. In downward dog, our hands are holding the ground. Our shoulders are sinking into our back. Our chest is reaching down and our butt is reaching towards the wall behind us. So you have a pelvic tilt. Take a moment and then bring it to plank again. First, you're up high, then you drop your knees down so you're supportive, but you're still in the move. So your shoulders are tucked, squeeze your belly, go down as slow as you can. Bend the elbows, bring the belly down, and then push straight up. So your upward dog, straight arms, push into your feet. Arch and look up, just a big stretch. Tuck your toes, well, drop your knees, tuck your toes, and lift your butt up to downward dog. Take a moment and walk those feet into the middle. Roll up to stand. Lift your arms overhead. Look up to your hands. Look at your thumbs. Reach them back. Bring your hands to your heart. And take a moment and just stand. So a few moves from standing instead of going through the flow. Step one foot forward and one foot back in a lunge. So your back heel is up. And you're here. I like to do a breath. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. One more, helps us to breathe again, reminds us to breathe again. And then just stay up here, take a moment, feel the muscles. Then we go to warrior, we put our foot down in the back and stay facing forward. Warrior one, feel both sides of both feet on the floor and just face the mirror, hands together. We take our hands into the prayer above our head, take a few moments. Take a breath and then open to the side, but keep your legs where they are. So when you turn to the side, this leg doesn't. So keep it open, chest is sideways, but eyes are to the mirror. So we're always looking down this front hand. The chest turns, so you're doing a neck, neck twist as well as a hip twist here, opening up the hips. Easy shoulders, drop your back arm towards your back leg, mirror side hand reaches up and reach high and then lean back and take a breath and bring it back to the center. Shoulders are warming up, so turn both palms up, bring the front arm to the thigh, lean, literally lean it there. Lift the top arm over your head like a rainbow, palm faces the floor in front of you and then look towards the wall. Push into the bottom arm and use it to help you look towards the ceiling. Find a spot on the ceiling that you can steady your eyes on and breathe. When you're ready, slowly press into the feet, lift up to warrior two. Try to stay in the middle, engage the pelvic floor. Feel the floor so you're rooting. Turn yourself to warrior one, hands wide. Bring it to lunge so your heels up. You're just shifting into that lunge, drop to the floor, knee down. 
and you take your hands down. Take a moment here, top of the foot to the floor here. Take the inside hand to the floor, the outside hand opens up. Just stay here for a moment. Take notice to something on the ceiling or to the side and just breathe. Slowly take your hand down to the outside of your leg, bring your arm to your leg and then your other arm up. And then take a breath. You can do this with a chair as well, your foot on the chair. Bring it to the middle, tuck your toes, lift your knee up so you're in that lunge again, but you're a little bit lower, your hands are down, and you just rock yourself. We'll step it forward, stand up, inhale, lift your arms, and then step the other foot back. Lunge first, take your hands to the heart this time, just finding your, your moment here just to stay and let the heat build in the muscles. Take another breath. We'll start moving with the breath. So as you inhale, lift up a little, exhale, lower down. Inhale and exhale. Yoga brings us back to our natural place so it strengthens us and puts us in alignment. That's all these movements do. One more time up, hold it here and then take your heel down in the back and then center yourself, your hands together, palms can hold, take a breath and then we'll take our hands, open them to the side, keep this thigh open so you should feel something here. Maybe everybody's different, so I might feel something here, you might feel something here. It's all about where you're tight right now on your body. Shoulders down, feel your feet on the floor. So it all comes back to you just noticing and being aware of the proprioception, this feeling of the feet, feeling of where your body is. Bring the back arm down, relax your arm and turn the front palm up, reach up, gaze up towards the ceiling, relax your face. And then another Breath to come into the center, warrior two, fear of Bhadrasana two. Turn both palms up, this mirror side arm towards the thigh, lean it on the thigh and reach your arm big and wide over your head, palm faces the floor in front. And then use that bottom arm to open you up to the side, side angle pose. You can look at the ceiling if your neck is okay with that or to the side, but just find a spot, take a deep breath. and then come back up to warrior two. Turn yourself to warrior one. Take a moment here, take your hands to your heart. Bring it to lunge, so you're lifting the heel in the back and take a moment to lower down. Drop down into the knee and again, we're gonna take the inside hand flat and the outside hand opened and just hold the pose. Look up to the ceiling or to the side. Take a moment here. Just feel where you are, what's happening, what's tight. Slowly bring that top arm down and the bottom arm up. Use that leg to support you with the arm and reach. And again, just breathe and feel. Bring it back to the center. Tuck the toe under in the back and take a moment to release your hips leaning a little bit side to side. Use your hands to help. Notice if it's challenging, don't put any labels on it. Just notice, okay, this is easy, this is hard, but we're not happy or sad about it. It just is. And then we'll step forward, inhale to stand, arms to the ceiling, and bring the hands down. So we'll take a moment to just stand with wide legs. Take the heels out a little wider than the toes. Take the hands to the hips, right where your hips and your legs meet, bend forward, reach your hands to the floor. And take your head down, take a breath out. Lift halfway, take your arms wide and lift them up to the ceiling so those muscles are working a little bit. Take them wide again and then bring it down again. See if you can reach to your feet or just reach towards them and take a moment. You can bring your hands in front of you like a downward dog with wide legs. Step your hands. 
sink your chest down, take a breath, and walk it back. Bring your heels and your toes in, alternate. Take a moment. You can get down to the floor. And floor moves can also be done on a chair. So we lean back, coming into our boat. So we want to sit between the sit bones and the tailbone. You lift your heels up, grab the, back, the backs of your legs, lift your chest up, your shoulders down. Take a moment and just hold it here. I do this, just kind of releasing both sides. If you have like a sacrum injury, which I have, this might not feel good. I've been working at it, so it's okay, but in the beginning I could not do this. <laughs> and then we take it to the floor and like a child's pose, I call it like a seated child's pose. Take your body, hunch it over, relax your head down. Take a breath and then come back up. At this time, you can help your legs out, but then you want to release them. So we want to help them out. So we're not staying crunched like this. We're lifting up with the chest, dropping the shoulders. We have our legs, squeeze the muscles, and then let it go. The lower the legs, the easier it is. The higher the legs, the harder it is. So first you grab on, you give it a hand, you squeeze, then you let go. And breathe. And then take the feet down and hunch over, take a breath, relax, release. Let your back kind of soften for a second and then come back. So you can go to that tabletop position so your feet are parallel to the ceiling. Chest up, you're holding, shoulders down, squeeze your belly. Take a breath in and out, holding. And then let it go and do the same. And then we'll cross our legs, sit up tall, take your hands to your knees. You can even grab your thighs before you even start, just to make sure you're sitting up and you're on your sit bones. Grab your hands to your knees, sit up tall, lean forward at your heart, so your shoulders are pulling back, chin up, and then round back, drop your chin to your chest. Do that a few times. Inhale, exhale. This is spinal mobility, this is really important. We're only as young as our spine is flexible, a quote from Joseph Pilates. We want to keep our body limber. And you can see when someone is stiff, they seem elderly. And when someone is loose and flowing like a ballet dancer, they seem young and they have life. So we're really not about our age. It's really about our body, our mobility, and our health. So taking a moment just to sit still and notice how you feel right now. Switch your legs around. So the fronts and the back, tops of the bottom. Grab your knees again, and we'll do the same. This targets the other hip and glute. You might not notice it, you might notice it a lot. Just forward and back, exhale, round. Inhale, chin up, chest forward. So we're opening our lungs, and then we're helping squeeze all the breath out. And then back to the center. Take your hands to your heart and your belly. Feel where your breath is. So we tend to breathe shallow and we want to open up our lungs into our back body. So when you inhale, open up your lungs to your back, your sides, in every direction. Exhale and sink. See if you can even open it up into your belly. And exhale and release all of your breath. Try to breathe out every last drop. And take your hands down. Take another breath. Uh, may the light in me honor the light in you. Namaste.